We're ready. So, think about Maya's actions regarding Mr. Robinson and how do you think reputation standards in this small town influenced the actions that she chose to perform during and before the trial? Well, like, before, like, obviously because she is a Yule, it was, she didn't really care about her reputation to a certain extent because, I mean, she did throw herself on Mr. Robinson's before the trial, before being caught. But afterwards, her father kind of knocked her, the reputation of sense in her head. So, do you think she really cared that much about what other people thought? Well, like, what do you think was going through her head when she did what she did? At the time, she probably didn't consider the consequences. But as, like, in regards to the reputation, I mean, if you have nothing of worth to show for, all you have to rely on is your reputation. So that's probably why they value it so highly, because they're not that high of a person. So that's all they have to lie back on. Now, when you say she wasn't thinking about the consequences beforehand, do you think, even if she was, like, do you think she would have even understood what the consequences were? Because she's a very sheltered child, obviously. I mean, she doesn't, she, it says, you know, in the book that she's, you know, more lonely than Boo Radley is. Well, I think that since they live in the Jim Crow law times, she knows what's going to happen. But she's been, like, nobody interacts with her, so she wants some, she disregards that because she wants some form of interaction. That, and she didn't think she was going to get caught because, I mean, they note in the book that she saved up her money for, like, a year to, like, get the kids out of the house so she can, like, get them to herself and then get caught. I don't know. I think it's all based upon, like, her just wanting attention, mainly. So what do you think that says about her character? Is that, like, since she grew up in, like, a rough childhood, maybe she just wants all that attention now since she hasn't got it before. That could definitely be it. I think that, um, I think that probably subconsciously she's kind of looking for the, the kind of affection that her father never gave her. Because her father doesn't really seem to care that much. Yeah, because he's drunk. Like, he's not there for her. No, he's not there for any of his children. I think she just, like, really just wants to fade, like, social interaction. <coughs> That's what most of we are, like, most of what we are as humans. I mean, half of the things we feel and accomplish are because we work together. And in her house, I guess, they don't. They just roll around in dirt and wait for their welfare checks. So she wanted to build something with someone. That, I mean, it tells in the book that she does sort of try to, like, go up to those standards of reputation because she, like, um, Tom Robinson, like, notes that she, like, showers and she's cleaner than most yeah, of the other and children. Her flowers. Yeah, and all those sort of things. So, like, she does try, but she's so lonely that she, like, extends her, like, friendliness to somebody she shouldn't have. Yeah. So if it would have been somebody else, I'm pretty sure she, her reputation would have been better as well as the Yule's. Like, Maybe this is a way for her to, like, step out of the shadow in some odd way of her family. Maybe she just wants to, like, not follow the same footsteps as the rest of her family. And that's why it, like, shows in some different way because she didn't really know how to, like, step forth and put her own kind of personality into it. Like, she seems like a good person.